Oh, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. We're going to jump back into Subnautica. Uh, Subnautica. <laughs> Subnautica Below Zero, to be precise here. Uh, I've got a few hours before I got to do anything, and I figure that's a good amount of time to cram in a little bit of Subnautica. Wordica. Mm -mm -mm. Hard to beat. A little bit of Agua Fresca. Reach across here, over on that way, through and over into there, and plug in the phone. Plug it in the phone. There we go. Looking quite good. Maybe while this is loading, it's a good time for me to do a little uh, announcementation, huh? Just showing a black screen right now. Oops. Um, um, it's the wrong Discord. <laughs> Looking at the wrong Discord for the wrong thing, the wrong time. Trying to figure out what's going wrong. And the answer is all of it. I'm so cold. That's all the uh, that's all the Discord announcement is going to be today. Whoa, and there we are. All right, lovely. Is this actually working properly? Hold on, I want to make sure the stream is coming through a-okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's doing mostly all the right things here. I see green on my indicators. Do that, do that, click over to there. I wonder if this is just part of... Uh, Part of streaming is like doing a little bit of maintenance at the beginning, or if that's like uh, something that I'm going to get better at figuring out how to do in the future. Looks fine. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Sir Maniac Miner. I appreciate the feedback. Uh, yeah, okay. All green on my end. Time to get started. Uh, we've got some sea trucking to do. It's particularly, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot of... I should do a hot tub stream. Uh, we'll we'll start with maybe a, just a stream where I'm on camera first. Ease into it, right? I feel like uh, I feel like a hot tub stream is kind of jumping from A to B, ignoring C and D. Uh, oh, spy pingling. I forgot about that. What were we up to? Oh, yeah, we were going to go do the snow fox thing. That's right. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, where's the thing for the snow fox? Okay, so I have all I need for a snow fox hover pad. I don't know what I need for the actual snow fox, though, so I guess what we're going to do is go back over there and continue investigating, seeing what is up. Defy robotics. Have a little water, have a little nutrient block. I won't lie, I am a fan of the nutrient block. I know that's a, uh, that's a, bit, of, a bit of a controversial opinion, but the uh, nutrient block happens to be one of my favorites. What is that? Sea glide fragment. It looked like lithium for a second. I was going to wonder what on earth was some lithium doing around here. What you doing around here, lithium? Get back to your hydrothermal vent. Factual information. Damn right. Maintenance and terrorism. It's the two is the golden ticket. <laughs> Finding the right balance between maintenance and domestic terrorism. That's the secret. That's the secret to a happy life right there. You figure out how to manage your domestic terrorisms and balance it with your, you know, your work-life domestic terrorism balance is, is very crucial. I cannot help but grab these sea truck fragments. I really feel like I want them. Give me your metal. A lot of, a lot of titanium and sea truck fragments. I tell you what, should I speak with a hillbilly accent for today since we're doing a little bit of sea trucking? Go buy my pickled tater chips, y'all. My name's Larry the Cable Guy, and I'll be taking you through Subnautica. We're just gonna be carrying on this way into this here kelp region where we're gonna find ourselves a little bit of metal and kelp biome. We got them creep vine pods that are trying to, trying to take our goddamn oil refining jobs. I feel like I do a pretty good hillbilly. Ah, uh, the Titan hole fish. The eye jellyfish. Who could forget such magnanimous creatures 
Magnaniferous creatures. Yesterday we found a big whale, a big fish boy. Um, that was piss pants worthy. I, I was not expecting that. Oh, we got a laser cutter too now, so we can carve and cleave our way through the ice. Uh, where was the dock? I, I think I'm supposed to go up here, actually. Yeah. Where are you? What are you? Ugh. I don't know what that thing was. I don't think I want to go this way. I think I want to go this way. I think I want to go over here. There's a lot of, like, rays and stuff. A lot of, like, low, low threat creatures. I can't figure out if you're adorable or not. I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't figure out if that thing is, like, genuinely horrifying or adorable. It seems like it was kind of both. Did I bring the hydraulic fluid? I did bring the hydraulic fluid. Thank goodness. I don't know why that wouldn't have been in my inventory, but, man, I was worried I, I, I would have just left it behind. Full-blown space-brained it out. Uh, yeah, this looks like a right spot. What is this? I'm trying to bait me in with a little bit of limestone. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I cannot be swayed by a single limestone, but hell, they've got, oh, they've got a lot of limestone. Ooh, okay. I missed completely these containers right here. Is this the same spot? It absolutely is. I just totally missed those containers and all this limestone, I guess. Maybe it wasn't on my priority list. I was just looking for a titanium at the time, um, so you would imagine couple of limestone deposits would have been up there on my list, but I suppose, uh, not the case. There's a ton back there. I'm just blind as a bat. Dang, I really needed that steam vent. Well, uh, oh, okay, you're back online. Thank goodness. I don't have any more of those chilies. Boink. Attention, check fluid levels. Extend. I should call her. Fluid levels have been checked. I like how it gave me that nice, vibrant. Da -da 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 range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Inventory is already full. Uh, before we hip hop, step step, in any other kind of direction, let's throw this bad boy down. The snow fox. Um. Um. Hello. Recharges and repairs the Snowfox hoverbike. Well, uh, maybe we are supposed to recharges and repairs the Snow Snowfox hoverbike later or something. Caves are good. Caves are where the warmth is. Copper not very important to me. There's a lot of land to invest in the gate. Oh, it's a building over there. Heating options. I'm gonna run back to this cave real quick. I need some of those chilies, man. Those are delicious. I have my thermos. That's like my emergency bottle, but I can only use that once, obviously, so kinda gotta keep that one spared. Okay. Uh, go. Time to go. Dead sprint. Quartz don't really need you. Thumper batteries. 
Sumper. Okay. Nutrient block. Let's go. New blueprint synthesized. Tunnels. Oh, we're in there like swimwear. There's a warrant down here. Titanium special equipment is required to collect this resource. However, the copper and silver is much less all over the place. Um, huh, okay. What's this tunnels thing? I love and hate exploring these tunnels. They're marvels to the power of the ice worms. The sheer amount of ice they're able to cut through in moments takes us a couple days. The tunneling mechanism is ruthlessly efficient. Terra could only dream of having this sort of mining capability. The ice worms uncover mineral rich pockets as they tunnel. But going beneath the surface is so risky. We've lost so many already. I don't understand why we have to stay in this peculiar area of the glacier. Can't wait to get off this hell hole. Ice hole? Whatever. Hope you're enjoying the rel relative calm at Copa. Copa. Copa Cabania. Well, I don't know what an ice worms is, but, uh... I want to... I think I want to go explore fire robotics some more. I didn't realize this would be like a whole thing. This is, but this is like a whole thing. That looks dangerous. That there looks dangerous. Not bad. Oh, and then we have that pilot last known location. I forgot about her. Some lady showed up with a massive prawn suit. It was a prawn suit that had been like kitted out with I mean, Lord knows how much technology. Something is clearly angry in that direction, which is one of the main reasons why I'm excited to go in this direction. Yeah, she had like, I mean, all sorts of technology. She had a, she had a big like spear or something on one arm. She had these, she had like big rib protrusions. It was crazy. He was running around on that thing like it was a titan. Let's go this way. I'll tell you what, we're not very quick. Oh, I, I thought I could grab the mushrooms. It was just snow. Damn, wanted me some of those mushrooms. Head in the right location? I think so. Found some more of these chili plants. I'm gonna need some of these chili plants. Inventory full. Oh man. I do this every time. <laughs> Let's eat these and then I guess we'll just keep three. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I can't be bothered. Oh, it's nighttime time. Oh yeah, there was a pengling, a little, a spy pengling area over here. Frost face plant. Whoa. Spy penguins are creating so many new research opportunities. Perfect for, for exploring tight spaces I can't squeeze into. Little pockets hiding lots of resources. Penguins can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. Okay. Good, good to know, I guess. Can you not do that? More diamonds? No, quartz. I was excited for more diamonds, but it's just quartz. Oh, magnetite, yoink. Just one? I'm not thrilled about one magnetite. I, th I feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I could have, I don't even know what I can do with one magnetite. 
as well grab some of those quartz, I guess. I suppose I'd rather have it than not have it, but uh, yeah, not, you know. We're not, we're not breaking any ground with one magnetite. There's the little dome house I built over there. Maybe I can go put a storage in that. That seems like a good idea. Oh, there's like a land variant. That's kind of cool. Okay. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production Oh, this doesn't stay offline. open. I was, I was hoping that would stay open. That's kind of a bummer. Really our only power product. I mean, I guess we can go with the bioreactor, but there's not really a whole lot to bioreact. So a solar panel, it will have to be. At the very least, uh, we can recuperate he uh, heat heat loss in here, which is always nice. Let's put up some uh, put up some wall lockers. I think we'll probably do a couple. Three wall lockers sounds good to me. And we'll put a bunch of copper. I don't know, those things, sure. So much water. Put two nutrient blocks in there as well. We just don't have much inventory space with all the, uh... All the stuff and things. Does that take two quartz, two copper, one titanium? Let's get it. One titanium. Two titanium. I always end up grabbing a bunch of snow whenever I pick anything up around here. Pick that up. Iodine content useful. Oh yeah, that's how you make the water purification tablets. I'll be honest, I'm not super intrigued by water purification tablets. One of those things that I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. It might be cool. At some point. In an ironic twist of fate, I do, in fact, actually ow. Did I just take damage? I do, in fact, want all the sports in here. That. And give me that. Like. All right. Good work, Spy Pingling. I'm glad that even in the far future, we're still spending taxpayer dollars to uh, create little penguin bots. Human innovation truly is a circular path. Let's hop inside our powerless base. And we can throw down one of those. A couple of quartz, copper, titanium. Put it all in there. You know what? Let's just... Uh, I'm a little impatient. Oh, oh. Container is not empty. Oh, that's where I put everything. Oops. I'm going to say, this seems a little bit empty. Let's uh, take some of this down. And we'll put a fabricator in place. Ah. Uh, lovely. Now we can fabricate as much as we like. Sounds good to me. 
Wood, wood, more Subnautica. Yeah, I got the little guy. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, titanium lane right here. Perfect. I don't know how I feel about the spy pangling. It, uh... It, it's interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting little development. I am upset that I can't grab that titanium right there. Oh, give me. This one. Primary systems are online. That's always nice. Welcome aboard, Captain. He's a fun little guy. I gotta give it to you. It's uh, it's you know, he's he's just a fun little dude. He just likes to hang out, go on cool little adventures. Thumper, thumps things. <laughs> uh, is that what I'm supposed to use to extract those minerals? Is that what they meant by thumper? Wait, wait a second. Hold on. Terra. Thump, uh, thumper batteries. Wait, let me get inside. It's kind of chilly out. I've used this door like 12 times already, despite only being in the hab four times. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of the entire mining crew. Day in, day out, we are risking our lives in this cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about these ice worms. We lost a solid fifth of our crew before Altera, Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttled off the planet. Mark was supposed to retire after this job. Instead, he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you ever seen someone get skewered by an ice worm? Thumpers at the company developed are just a stopgap solution. They do a great job of distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Is it possible to send us additional replacement batteries? A little more juice would go a long way. What, were these guys never stranded on a deserted planet before? You gotta make your own batteries out of mushrooms. Everybody knows this. Although in this game, it's not mushrooms. It's, uh... It's electrolyte plants. Electrolyte plants. It's what mushrooms need. Uh, keeping our eyes out for these kinds of things with a whole bunch of titanium in them. I also couldn't help but notice something suspiciously like a snow fox fragment lying in the dirt over here. Yippee! Are there any other snow fox fragments? Grab a whole handful of snow there. I just can't help myself. I see a big handful of snow and I've just gotta grab it. I don't I don't see all too much else right here. In the here and now of the present. Snowball down. Ugh. You know how terrified I am of icicles? Let me let me get real 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 with you right now. Icicles are one of the most dangerous goddamn things in the entire world. They just lurk up there, and you never know when they're gonna fall. You never know if they're even gonna fall. But if they do, that's solid ice. Approaching. And it weighs Seek like shelter. crazy, crazy huge amounts. I've never, I've, I've luckily never been the, uh, the victim of a falling icicle, but I know for a fact. Wow. Okay, that was that, that wasn't the movement I was expecting there. I know for a fact that falling icicles have like. Seriously injured people, if not killed people flat out. Uh, I I think icicles are to be re respected and feared from a safe safe distance. I used to think it was so fun to go knock icicles off of my roof, and then, you know, I started to realize like, hey, this seems kind of dangerous. Maybe that was part of the fun though. A little bit of danger. Yeah, I mean, well, just like imagine how shitty that would be on your tombstone, right? killed by falling icicle people would go take pictures at it not in like a cool way either they'd be taking pictures like ah look at this guy he got killed by a falling piece of water didn't even drown didn't even have the balls to drown he died because the water was too hard and it hit him in the head now I'm just bad, mouth bad mouthing all the poor people who have died by icicles all the uncounted icicle fatalities in the world. I apologize. If you if you are one of those people that died by icicle, I do apologize to you. I've already explored this place. I'm just wondering if I missed anything. Uh, seems like the vast majority of the answer is no. Not really. I'm just wondering if there's any 
sneaky snow fox lingering about. We did get the large room out of this too, which is quite epic. I don't think there's anything else in here though. I'm trying to look for alternative pathways here. What's over there? Oh, they were really sneaky. They were extremely sneaky. What is this? You're telling me I need to go craft a propulsion cannon? Another thing to add to my inventory? I can't believe they did this. What kind of goodies do you think they have back there? Oh, I'm so upset that they made me make a propulsion cannon. What's that cost? Wiring kit, battery, and titanium. Wiring kit, battery, titanium. You're telling me it just takes some takes two, takes me two silver to make a propulsion cannon? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I feel like I should be able to get in there. I feel like in there should be available to me. Oh, that is not my day, huh? Am I stuck? Ah, there we go. Made it. Nailed it. Oh, I can't open this. What's over here? Oh, this is... Bedroom. Lame. Lame and unhelpful. They're telling me if I go out and to the right... And then over here, there's a little spy pingling area. So I guess that's where I gotta go. Hmm. I want a snow fox. I just want to know what the hell's back there. Come on. Come on. Uh, by the way, help me out and give me a little bit of feedback real quick. Is the audio synced up properly? Am I am I synced up? I'm I'm really perplexed about why the audio keeps desyncing all of a sudden. I'm hoping that it's just fixed at some point, but I don't know why. I, I haven't. I'm like, why do you keep? Do you know the definition of insanity? Doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. And that's me. Right? I sure do have a lot of titanium, though. I'm really looking for silver. Titanium, titanium. I was really struggling to find titanium the other time, and now I'm now I have too much of the damn stuff. Some sort of an uppies biome behind me there. Typically, I think in layers, so I feel like going up that ladder is like the next area, and I don't want to go there yet. Ah, I think I recognize that. I think that's a snow fox ramp. I think you're meant to snow fox that. Keep your eyes peeled for our wreckages and or debris. Consume some water. I'm trying to burn through these water bottles. I've got like 400 of them and I need to get through with them. Oh, 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 what, what? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh. An evil cave. like there were people down there. It's light sticks. Oh. 
Gotta play Hop the Gap. It's always fun. Oh, I know. <laughs> those are those are the meteorites that we came in on in the uh no, I don't want snow. Oh my god. Those are the meteorites that were coming down at the when when we first crash landed here. It all makes sense now. Well, I tell you what, I don't really want to go any further. I want to go back and make a snow fox. I don't know what it takes, but I hope I can do it. Sure do. I bet it takes a battery or two, or maybe a power cell even. That would that makes sense. I feel like it would be too heavy if it had two power cells, but I feel like one power cell makes a lot of sense. Energy cell, is that what they call them in this? I don't know. Microphone is delaying slightly. That makes sense. Pepper. I said that right as I passed the pepper plant. Let me know, uh, let me know how off that was. But just one of those things, trial and error. Welcome aboard, Captain. Away all this millions and millions of titanium. Is the sea fox a thing that I construct in this place? No. The question I have for myself is why I went and built the sea fox platform as far away from the robotics facility as possible. All right, I'll do it again here. Uh, I'm gonna call it out when I run past that ice crystal right over there. Ice crystal. Maybe I should do it on something a little more specific, huh? Silver ore. Silver ore. Silver ore. Copper ore. I'm just saying it as I pick things up. Silver ore. Silver ore. Silver ore. Silver ore. Silver ore. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily call it a scientific test, but uh, three seconds. So I'm three set. My microphone is three seconds delayed behind the video. My settings, real quick. Um, cable output properties. Try that. Let's see how that does. Because there was an offset. It was a a uh, leftover from when I had the other offset. But I've also changed streaming qualities, which, by the way, should make the stream a whole lot better. I think it should be in 1080p now. Uh, hopefully. We'll see. Um... Uh, Let's, uh, when I, when I start building the Snow Fox platform. Exterior Snow Fox platform. All right, ready? And starting. Oh, no, two magnetite and a lubricant. It doesn't take a single power cell, just a regular battery. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. I don't know where the hell to get magnetite from, so I guess this is just not an option right now. Maybe it's those pangling dens. Maybe that's where you get it from. It's just more of those. Could definitely be the case. Silver away. Poster away. Uh, we're doing good on food. We have another. We have another water. We have our thermos filled of heat. We also have room for chilies, and I think we should go grab some chilies. Like half a second. Okay. 
Well, in that case, I'll just uh, completely remove the delay. I wonder if fixing all those other audio settings fixed the delay that was there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if it's like, uh, I don't know if it's because I, like, <laughs> I don't know how interconnected all these settings are, but I'm constantly tweaking things, trying to make it look better. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it fixed. Hopefully it's fixed now. I don't know. Let me know. It's, uh, iterative progress, right? I gave myself, when I started the YouTube channel, I gave myself a hundred videos to try and figure out some sort of format that I like. And within a hundred videos, I kind of figured it out and I liked it. Uh, and I'm kind of doing the same thing with streaming, although not probably a hundred of them, probably less than that, but you get the idea, right? I'm giving, my, giving myself plenty of wiggle room to kind of figure out what the hell's going on. And, uh, it's a pretty odd issue, for sure. I don't know, yeah. I, 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 it was not one that I anticipated, but, you know. Gotta deal with the problems when they arise, I suppose. Uh, so question is, do we, do, do we go down this suspicious-looking ice river, or do we go down the tunnels. Actually, I'm kind of leaning towards the tunnels now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's go through the tunnels. I'm thinking the tunnels are probably a better option as far as getting the old uh, getting the old magnetite. I feel like there's a better odds of finding magnetite in those tunnels than there is in finding it in the on that frozen river. Should we grab this titanium? I suppose so. Inventory's looking a little stuffed. It'll go down eventually, though, as I eat those peppers, because I'm sure I'm going to be out in the cold here for a little while. It said I could make a snowsuit, or at least it gave me the uh, the blueprints for a snowsuit, but it said I needed some sort of, like, bewildebeast fur or something. Um, terrifying. But let's see what we can find over here. First of all, nutrient block. Part of every balanced breakfast. Secret tunnel. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. That is what this place is. Um, so what is this? It's a frost face plant right there. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. No, these rocks are so sparkly, but they're not, I don't feel like they're worth much. Out in the open again. No idea where I am. I don't really like these valleys and gulches they've got me in. Makes me feel a little bit pinned in. Uh, okay, so this just led back to the start of the tunnel area, I guess. That's fine. Whoop. Can't, okay. Can't jump up that one foot ledge, I guess. Um, okay, so we found like one area, <laughs> I guess. One way to, one way to get through there. Nice, nice circular pathing. Very cool. Maybe it's like if you're running for your life from something and you need a different way to escape, you can take a different path back. Looks like a skeleton, doesn't it? Um, huh. Okay, well. Nothing nothing much in this direction, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Is there anything cool down here? Like, I feel like I'm down here for a reason, but also... I have yet to find very much. Well, uh, let's see. Turning right went back to the base, so I guess we'll do the other way. Grab that quartz, because I think I might need it. Ooh. 
Skellington, eh? Oh. Big lion. Avoiding that fellow. And moving on with our lives, yeah. Just gonna have a great time moving on in a different direction here. Oh, are we back to the water? Jesus Christ. Under the sea. Switching back to underwater exploration mode. Oh, hydrothermal vents, I see. here for the ribbon plants. I suppose I'll grab some of those. Violet blue. Hardy cave bush. <laughs> I think there's still a delay. We're spitting out water or air? Ah. Uh, delay between sound and video that we were talking about. you mean, rather? There's a bladder fish here, too. Okay. Cool little underwater section. Bad boys, bad boys. Silver ore. Do I want that? Oh, not really. This is a random, beautiful cave. I saw an evil monster, though, so I'm a little bit on edge, I won't lie. Oh! No, no evil monsters in this cave, though. Take a shower real quick. Oh, man, this character's gotta be so stinky. Swimming around in the sea all the time, and then just... Oh man, yeah. Our character cannot be cannot be very well smelling. Robin, I believe is her name. Not to name names or anything, Robin. cave. Ah, no, this is a real cave. Oh. Glow fungus? Glow fungus? Oh no. Not glow fungus. Ah! Why? Who and why? and ore. Magnetite, magnetite, give me ore. 
Um, okay, this will take quartz. We have two magnetite, we just need the lube. beautiful cave thank you for your minerals and such um making evil noises, but I don't like evil noises. They make me not feel very happy. We found it, ladies and gentlemen. We found the mother load. Cease all titanium holding. Actually, we'll just eat a couple of peppers. Grab it all. Oh, come on. I am not leaving without, like, four more of you. There we go. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. I saw it for a split second. A single fraction of an instant. Oh, come on. Oh, you slippery son of a gun. Ugh, come on, come on. Oh, 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 yes, yes. I am become magnetite, magnet of tight. Shadow of that thing scared the crap out of me. A frost acacia. It's wild how we keep finding acacia trees everywhere. On across every planet, in every known biome, acacia trees. Who knew? I would love to escape right now back to the lab again. Uh, no idea where the lab again is, though. I do find a snow fox fragment on my journeys. Maybe it is a connection thing. I don't have the most rock solid of internet connections, so it could be. Could just be Twitch trying to piece together two different files and trying its very best. Sort of a bummer. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could investigate it. I don't. I, I just don't even know how to investigate this. I'm at my wit's end, as they say. Where am I supposed to be going? This way. Peeper, what are you doing in here, Peeper? How you? How are you even alive? Refill the old O2 button. Hopefully not get killed by icicles. That's always fun. Always a good time getting killed by icicles. I don't like that. I don't like that noise that you make there. There's also a distinct ringing in my ears. Here, climb up here, 
And we're out. Phew. All right. Uh, Snow Fox sounds pretty great. Well, that's good. I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it's not too bothersome. It bothers me more than anything, but I, I just I'm I'm a little bit of a perfectionite for that sort of a thing, and it's kind of just knowing that it's happening in the background gives me the the streamer ick. No, the snow keeps tripping me up because I just look down and I, I see the thing to pick things up and I just, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Happy, excited, neuron activation. And it's just snow. Neuron activation failed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, what does lubricant take again? Creep vine seed cluster. You know what's hilarious about that is I had one of those on my person uh, at some point not too far ago in the past. I had it on my person, and it's no longer there. Isn't that just so funny? Isn't it funny how fate pulls funky little moves like that on us? I think three sounds about good. I'm just gonna put them all in there. Ribbon plants too, sure. Uh, don't really need a snack. Don't know why we have these flares. Water, food, health, robot, hot cocoa, chilies. What more could you need to survive on a desert island? I have no idea. No idea. What do I look like? A survive on a desert island survivalogist? No. Far from it, in fact. Uh, okay, let's go get a creep. Or, well, yeah, let's go get a creep vine seed cluster or whatever. The, the goo sack. Some more chilies. I'm in love with the chilies. Ever been to chilies? Like the. Restaurant chilies. Let me tell you, it's good the first time. And you're like, wait a minute. I've had this food. This is microwave food. It's a bummer. It's a bummer realization. I do live pretty close to a Chili's though, so sometimes I will, I gotta admit, I, I will go there for their uh, mashed potatoes. There's loaded, they have these like loaded mashed potatoes, which are just the least real tasting potatoes in the world, but they're still delicious, and so I eat them. I don't feel great about it for a while, but uh, you know, part of, part of life is living with those experiences and knowing that they made you a more complete person. I didn't realize creep vine seed clusters would be so close. And I think what I'd mostly like to do is grab a couple. One, two, three, four, maybe. I don't know. Dude, you're getting closer, huh? Getting real close up on me. You don't want none of this. shelf actually it's kind of a little bit secluded I like it yeah first times like wow after others just like meh yeah exactly I had this ex-girlfriend who was like addicted to chilies I don't know why it's just uh, she just like really had a thing for chilies and I was like okay I mean from my perspective, that's just low maintenance, right? I'm just like, okay, yeah, sure, we can go get chilies for the fourth time this week. <laughs> it's a real cheap date, you know what I'm saying? But uh, 
Yeah, it was like, uh, I don't know if I can eat chilies again. Like, I really, I, I'll, we can go get you some chilies if you want, but I was like, I'm gonna go get, like, literally anything else. There's like, a, there's a five, a five Guys right next door. And I'm like, if we're gonna go out to eat, I'm gonna get Five Guys rather than uh, chilies. It was, uh, yeah, it was really, it was really weird. <laughs> it was really odd. Yeah, well, let's just say there's a good reason we broke up, right? I'm not saying it had anything to do with the chilies, but I am saying clearly chilies was part of the reason. There was there was there was good reason for things to end as they were. Yeah, five guys. If if five guys wasn't so goddamn expensive, it would be absolutely perfect. Uh, two magnetite, is that what I saw? On the list O requirements for the snow fox. Snow fox. Let's see here. Let us see here. Let's do it. Oh, she's shiny. Slow. Mostly shiny, but also... There we go. I guess the internals are very complicated or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You gotta be, like, bright red, I think. You gotta be like obnoxiously red. With a off-white exterior. Listen, I get you're cold, but you're blocking the screen. Uh, the name should be black and it should be uh, Snow Runner. Done. It's nighttime. Can't see it. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. She's a beaut. She's an absolute beaut. Yeah, no shit. I am freezing. Yeah, I don't I, I agree with you. It's not like it's not like the price range is like astronomical, right? Like it's not it's not without it's not it's not out of bounds, but like if they were like four dollars cheaper maybe even three dollars cheaper on average i could literally go there every every day like i could go there for a, for a daily meal because like yeah i mean you know a good burger is just hard to beat it's hard it, yeah I, I don't know they've got a they, if they reevaluate their price difference i think it would pull in like they could take it they could take a 20 percent price dip and get a 40 percent increase to to people that going into their restaurants right that's what that's how i see it anyways which in my opinion means you gotta think about a 20% price dip. What do I know, though? Every business class I've ever taken, I failed, so uh, maybe maybe I should refrain from throwing my hat into that particular ring. Need more ribbon plants? I thought I had a whole bunch of ribbon plants. Maybe I only grabbed the one, though. There they are. I want two spare batteries. I feel like that's... Uh, I feel like that's gonna be enough. Chef's kiss. Uh, wait, no, give me those. I actually only need one. A nutrient block a day keeps the uh, evil spirits at bay. Uh, do we stay warm on the snow fox? That'd be kind of convenient. I bet it's not true, but it would be. Maybe I'm on copium here. Oh, we totally stay warm. Let's go. Oh, weird. So when you stop moving, you can free look around. But then once you start moving, it like locks you in. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> that doesn't feel very good whatsoever. We got a little boost on us. Whee! 
Wait, you know what I'm realizing? I want enough to make a... I want, I want whatever I need in order to make a... Uh, what is that called? A, a recharge pad. I feel like that might be important. I feel like I might find myself wanting one of those. How does it handle jumping off of cliffs? Uh, poorly. Poorly. It, it sucks at jumping off of cliffs. That's fine. Boy, I tell you, this is one janky device. <laughs> there, we there we go. I I, re I really do feel like a lot of the vehicles in this game are extremely satisfying, but that one, uh, that is a weird Welcome control scheme on that one. I don't like that. Uh, okay, so what I need, I think it's just like a wiring kit and a, some other thing. Wiring kit and two titanium is extremely cheap for the amount of technology that I would imagine is crammed into that thing. I don't want to change the name of the locker. Uh, yeah, two silver, two titanium, and we've got a... I mean, listen, I'm not going to complain, but uh, it is what it is. Hey, all right, you have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Good to see you, mate. Oh, I can make the propulsion cannon now, too. Uh, okay, let's go check behind those boxes. Let's go check behind those boxes. Uh, I'm gonna need another wiring kit. <laughs> and... Yeah, let's, let's see what was behind those boxes, because that is gonna drive me insane for the rest of my life. If I don't go take a look. And then after that, we'll do a little snow fox exploration. Seems like a, seems like a fun idea, a worthwhile venture. I say so myself. Fly Robotics Center. We built it into a cliff for some reason. Look how sneaky they were. They put a box over here. This is the storage room right here. Fiber mesh, filtration tablets, nutrient block, flare, uh, flare, flare, battery, battery, mm, first aid kit, nutrient block, tablets. All right. All that effort. Oh, no, this was the real payout right here. Yep. All of that stuff basically useless to me. What the hell? <laughs> that was weird. Uh, anyway, yeah, all that stuff essentially useless to me. Except for, and only except for, this massive deposit of magnetite back here. This thing is my de facto flashlight. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Cleaned house, and I, I mean, yeah, a lot of that stuff, pretty much useless. Though I will try this. Combine with snowball to create drinkable water. How? Oh, I just, oh. Oh wow, that makes a large filter of water. Okay, well, that is pretty efficient. I'll give him that. Damn. Icicles, man, I'm telling you. They're brutal. Looks like we got ourselves a winter storm. Alright. 
Drop off a bunch of magnetite. Gotta remember to take that bank with us. I doubt I'll remember, but I gotta remember. <laughs> um, am I, are we looking pretty good here? I mean, uh, my inventory is so full now. It's just, it's just constantly crowded. Propulsion cannon, why don't you live in there for now? You just take up so much space. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll call it good there. Let's see if there's anything else I need. Yeah. I've got the food, I've got the water. Yeah, we're fine. We're big chilling. Bing chilling, even, one might say. <clears throat> Let's explore, explore this uh, ice river thing over here. Up on the old snow fox. God, these, yeah, these controls suck. <laughs> It's like it's all off-centered now. Ah, uh, I don't like that. There are skeletons. There they are. Snowy boy. That there's a snowy boy. Let's just double back, looks like it. Can he outpace you? <laughs> but if I boost, I can outpace you. Still angry though. I mean, fair enough. I did just hit a sick boost on him. Whoa, are you still angry? Oh my goodness, you are wild and angry. I just like outmaneuver you forever then? Looks like it. Looks like I can pretty much just tire you out. Go along with my exploration. Hovering around at the speed of sound, supersonic racer style. Oh, 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 oh. So we're here. Sharp and sudden cliff face. direction. A markedly less sharp and sudden foot face. Oh, is that water? Oh, it is water. It's not even frozen water. It's legit water. I have to, like, drive through this cave, maybe? Oh, that looks like a no snow bikes allowed kind of a cave. What happens if I leave this here? Just hover? Okay, you can just hover. Ah, this is where this is where you're supposed to go. I see what is this? A oh, loop. Nice. And more magnetite. Very cool. There we are. Anything else over here? Oh, there's another crevice. Some more silver ore. I think I'll take the silver ore because I used a lot making wiring kits. <laughs> I did uh, I did go a little ham on the wiring kits, not gonna lie. More silver ore. There is like a lot of resources to obtain here. Silver and copper. It's over here. This is the big, the big tree area, huh? It's where the snow stalkers live. Oh, there's a little facility over there. Hmm. Hmm. I'd love to try and find my way over to wherever that is. Seems like a cool spot, right? Oh, there's a penguin, penguin thing over there. This thing has upgrades. 
I hope it's a speed upgrade. Raw speed. Let's see what we can find over here. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Yes, ma'am. Oh. What's in here? Sam must have stashed this here. What does she need an antidote for, though? Ah, there it is. I knew they'd give us one. Oh, they gave us two. All right. Big winner. Oh. Ah. Uh, get on board. No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. Not that. Just use it. There we go. Phew. Geothermal vent. Inch away. Okay. Stand on the geothermal vent. Hopefully that makes this a little more a little more operable. Spy penguin online. Spy penguin online. I'm not using that controller at all. Antidote. An injectable container of antibacterial agent. Um, okay. <clears throat> it looks like it's made with the... What was that? It was made with a... Fevered pepper and a frost face plant? What do I need this for? Gosh, this thing is clunky to move around. I am really not a fan. Well, that's how you say I see a stalker. I see him over there. <laughs> yep, okay. Getting out of here. Getting on out of here before things get a little too crazy. direction I came from. This thing also seems to ruin my frames pretty bad. Hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewers, followers, views, chat bots, etc. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed to be best. Flexible and convenient. Order management panel, chat panel, everything in your hands. Uh, no, thank you. Please get out of my chat. Thank you very much. Heart emoji. <laughs> Uninterested. Another little storage depot down here. I'll take some disinfected water, but only and only because I can just have it right away. Stalker over there. Sneaky stalker. Am I at? Where am I at? Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. 
What's that noise? noise was and I don't know if I want to know what that noise was. Oh my god. <laughs> it just landed on the penguin. The poor critter. He didn't deserve that. making that noise? Oh, it might be the penguins making that noise. The penguin spot. This looks relatively safe. Geothermal vent, I see. Agent online. Spy penguin. Go to twitchscam.com to get free views. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, like. Half the time, I think I wonder if these are just like rogue AI that are just sent out into the world to spread their scam. Like, I have to imagine that's what it is, right? Because nobody would fall for that. I hope. I don't know, man. It's very odd. Just quartz over here, really? <laughs> this penguin just say "ow." That's funny. You know what I just remembered, though, is that we can use the penguin to go get, uh, to, like, I don't know, go harass it creatures without bothering them. Apparently they don't care what the penguin does. So maybe that's what we're supposed to do on those, those, those fools down below. Glad to hear that. Try to keep a real chill environment. Up until now, it was a scammer-free environment, but I guess that's a, a milestone marker of some in some regard, huh? Let's boost on past that fella. down this here frozen river of sorts. Oh, camera controls in this are terrible. Need to get Twitch views up. Well, he's not wrong. I could definitely do with more Twitch views. Never going to be a partner with three viewers per stream. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, because it's not really what I care about. These just get uploaded to the YouTubes anyway now, so it's not like a... Uh, Anyway, uh, but it's funny that, like, they, that's, that's all they prioritize, right? I, I've been dealing with this camera via email as well recently, where they were like, your, your video search engine optimization is terrible, and you have no views and no subscribers. I, I made a post about that a while ago. So just... Oh, Another artifact. hold on, lore moment. Yes. You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded right. to PDA. 
Listen, Sarah, there's no reason to be, like, rude to the guy. He's probably just as uncomfortable in your cerebral cortex as you are, you know, with him in your cerebral cortex. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I've been considering playing bar on here. I'm just not sure what I want to do. Like, I'm not sure if I want to do the same bar streams that I usually do or if I should switch it up and go for something different. I'm going to leave four magnetite here in case there's some reason that I might need magnetite here. You know what I'm also going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I've just decided... Oh, you know what? I have it on me. Okay. I was going to say, I was, what I also wanted to do was grab a... Uh, grab what I need in order to make a charging bay, Dangerous and then we'll go... Approaching. Seek shelter. We'll charge the snow fox, uh, or we'll build a charging station over at that area where I parked my boat, my truck. Park my truck. That way we're kind of, you know evenly spread throughout the different areas here. I think the problem I'm having is like the... I, I think this is the problem I'm having. I think as a... as someone who has ridden dirt bikes and, and motorcycles for like a, a vast majority of my life, the snow bike, the, the, yeah, the, the snow bike or whatever, snowmobiles included in that list, this thing feels like it should handle exactly the same way as all of those things, and it just doesn't, like, whatsoever. And I don't know how they would have done that in a video game anyways, but it just doesn't. And that's giving me a lot of trouble, because, like, piloting the prawn suit, like, I've never piloted a prawn suit before. <laughs> I don't know how to pilot a prawn suit. I don't know if you know how to pilot a prawn suit, but I certainly don't. I just saw it said inventory full. Can I pick up my snow fox? I really don't want you all to roll away, though. Hmm. It made the issue a lot worse, but... I could totally pick up my snow fox. What on earth? Well, that's epic. Uh-huh. Okay, that offers an interesting variety of possibilities. It is like a bike. Hmm. I don't know. Twitch bar community is kind of small, though. Oh, interesting. I wondered about that. I wondered how many people watch uh, bar content on Twitch. I figured, I figured, I mean, that's why I figured the YouTube streams work pretty well, is because there's just a lot of people there already. Like, it's very convenient to just go from watching a YouTube video to watching a YouTube live. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll poll the folks, poll, poll the people, see what they say about it, see if anybody's still interested. Otherwise, I might just keep this up. This is always fun stuff to just put up on the YouTube channel anyways, in case anybody needs a break from bar. I know I play a couple games of bar, and man, I'm just tired, like physically tired. I feel like I need a nap or something. They just, uh, those games just, dro just look dr I mean, especially the long ones, they really just drain you. Drain me, anyways. Now we're back to sea trucking. And now, as a man of interesting caliber, I must say I'm rather excited about the sea trucking. All sorts of wonderful things you can do with a sea truck. It's cool that they made these coral things look like tentacles like it's it's a very cool aesthetic decision but it also feels a little bit obvious <laughs> you know what i mean like it feels like they kind of made that look exactly like the tentacles of the the queen or whatever from the first the game i don't know maybe it's just because i just played the first game and then jumped right into this one that I could see so easily the resemblance, but, like, it almost looks like they just took the skin from, like, the texture from that 
creature and just used it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just going crazy. Magnetite unlocks things and Welcome stuff aboard, for us, Captain. I believe, anyway. There we go. I knew something was wrong there. I just couldn't put my finger on it. All this magnetite is going to be great for our not having magnetite problem. Might sound obvious to say, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. Uh, antidote, I guess we'll go in here because I don't know what else to do with it. I don't, I don't even know what to do with it in the first place. Uh, let's turn off. Let's turn off Fly Robotics landing pad. Let's turn off the Snow Fox. Alright. Uh, oh, let's see about Modification Station. Did we do any of you yet? Ruby? Not really. No, not really. Can we make a Power Cell Charger? Advanced wiring kit, two lithium, and two titanium. And what would an advanced wiring kit set me back? Computer chip, which is table coral, gold, and copper wire. I think we have like a huge copper shortage right now. Yeah, let's go do some copper collection. Maybe, uh... Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter because I don't have enough copper to make the HUD. I was gonna make the HUD chip for the scanner room to put it in my put it in my my brain, but I don't have enough copper to even do that. So we'll just go out here and do things the old-fashioned way. Some lead too, why not? Grab some quartz in case it becomes. Important. I guess a little titanium never hurt either. We'll just go on a mineral collection bender. Real quick like. Good to be back under the sea. Definitely feel like I know how to be under the sea more than I know how to be on the land. Do I, how much copper do I have? Only one copper, man. Not very much copper out. Just grab a little air real quick. Grab a little air real quick. And I'm out of here. Swim through the grab trap just to show those fish who's boss. Also titanium. Damn. Kind of striking out today. Right, not quite full yet. Sea monkey. You don't even know what a monkey is. To be fair, I don't know if my character knows what a monkey is. This is like some odd thousands of years in the future. I 
think monkeys still exist some odd thousand years in the future. Millions and millions of years in the future or something. feller. Three. I'll take a quartz, sure. Why not? After all, why shouldn't I quartz? Okay, now we can do some gold and we can do some table coral. Table coral. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Make some copper wire. One, two. Look at my shoe. And we'll make two computer chips. Let's grab some silver. Doing there we go. Wiring kit and a advanced wiring kit. Very nice. Magnetite, I think, was what I needed for some of these upgrades here. Yep, so one Magnetite. I like to do three range and one speed. So I need one Silver Ore, three Magnetite, three Copper, four Magnetite. One Silver. Oh, I don't have any more Copper. I spent it all, didn't I? Ah, okay. That. Let's grab that. And grab that. That seems like a pretty good scanner room right there. Copper ore. I want limestone chunk. Bunch of titanium, quartz, lead, all that good stuff. I wanted to build a power cell charger. Two titanium and two lithium. Actually, I can do that real quick. Two titanium. Oh, I don't have enough lithium. No. Oh, lithium's actually hard to get. Okay. Bummer. Okay. Well, we'll have to postpone that then. Iron kit goes in there. Med kit. Uh, let's eat a block. Let's have a drink. Do I have another drink? I don't have a drink. Okay. Well, anyways. Uh, pick up those two magnetite again. Thank you, Link. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Scanner room is up, is, uh, well, yeah, up and running again. Always very useful. See, there's all these ones that are, like, very close to you. Always. But you just never find them, because... It's not how it... Not, not how it goes. <laughs> Once you find, like, one or two of them, you're pretty much set, but... It can be, uh... It can be difficult. Because they're typically clustered, is what I mean. Like, you find one and it leads you to the next, and it leads you to the next, and you're usually good. Finding that first one can be difficult sometimes. See, so, look, it's like right underneath my house, and I never saw this at all. Sigh. It just makes mineral collecting so much easier. My first ever playthrough of the very first uh, Subnautica game, I, I didn't use the scanner room at all. I thought it was dumb and gimmicky, and so I just never touched it. And then I was like, and then I played it again a second time, and I was like, oh, this is like absurdly useful, <laughs> like ridiculously useful. And uh, yeah, so now I use it all the time. 
feels like something is making me a little framey. I don't know what it is. I, I detected it on the hover bike, and I thought that's—I thought it was the hover bike that was causing it. But apparently, it's not. Some sort of Windows update in the background or something. I don't know. Warning: Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Good to know. We make back to the base. In Thirty seconds. Feels doable. Look at this. This one's just like right outside of our house. Welcome aboard, Captain. Copper wire, even though I wasn't supposed to do that. It's fine. Here. This. Two more scanner room upgrades. That's a scanner room. Oh my goodness gravy. Look at that. Now that is a scanner room right there. It goes all the way out to the walls. <laughs> you can scan for light years with this scanner room. Oh my goodness. Heat area. Calibrate. Argent, ar, ar, argentite. Raw argent energy. Lithium. Ooh. Wow, I can find lithium with this thing? find a lithium with this thing. <laughs> oh, no, there's a couple over there. Okay, yeah, let's go find some lithium. Put the titanium away first. Let's go on a little sea trucking. Lithium exploration never hurt nobody. Doesn't tell you exactly how far away they are. They just look exactly the same distance no matter what. Those big boys stink around over here. I don't know what's uh, going on with them right now. Sleeping on the job or something. What is that? Sea, search, sea truck fragment? Just gonna move on past that guy. <laughs> 